When you hear QE2, you're probably thinking of the giant cruise liner. But this QE2 is nine times bigger. It's an asteroid, so large it has its own moon. And it took a swing near Earth today. Let's bring in the national science correspondent, Bob McDonald, to shed some light on this. So, Bob, just how big and how close? <laughs> well, Nancy, it was uh, very big and very close by cosmic standards. Uh, we have some images of this that look kind of dark and grainy. That's because the image is, uh, well, the asteroid is about as dark as charcoal, and these are radar images. But you can see it's round. It's 2.7 kilometers across, and it has its own moon going around it. That's about half a kilometer across. And that's in the range of the kind of asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs. We can also see it has a big dint in it, and that's not uncommon for asteroids of this size they get hit just like the earth does and we can see how close it came it was about 15 times the orbit of our moon but on a cosmic scale that's pretty close not a hazard to uh, to us on earth because we did see it coming but uh, it's a good warning that there are big things out there that could have our name on it so Bob what exactly is the value in studying a, a near-earth asteroid of this size <laughs> Well, there are a couple of reasons, Nancy. Uh, I have a graphic here that kind of explains it. As you say, uh, it is nine times the size of its namesake, the QE2, which, by the way, is just a uh, coincidence. So had this hit us, it could have wiped out our civilization. So it's really important that we know about these asteroids because they come in different shapes and sizes. If we need to move one, we need to know what we're dealing with. But asteroids are also very, very old. They're ancient material that's made of the same stuff that formed the Earth. So in a way, we're looking at our own past, the chemical that we're made of and even the water that we drink is believed to have come from asteroids. So they're important in a lot of ways. Bob, thanks very much for this. Bob McDonald okay, Nancy. in Victoria.